Yo, what's good, chat? Back at it again with another video. Yo, boys, finally back. Um, finna today, we're finna be reacting to this video called Underground Fight Club in the Bronx. Shout out my boy Tommy G. I will leave his video in the description below. And also, really quick, bro, I just wanted to say, bro, the only reason I haven't really been talking as much in my videos and I like showing my face and shit is because, uh, bro, my internet's still fucking been down. I haven't been able to play uh Call of Duty for now. I haven't been able to play anything, bro, online. Except for, like, USC a little bit. And that shit still lags, bro. It's so ass, bro. Um, I'm in the works of getting new internet right now. I hope I get it soon, bro. Because I'm, I'm really trying to start fucking doing this shit again, bro. I'm trying to start streaming, too. So I hope with the new internet that I get, shit it becomes better. But, yeah, man. That's that's the that's the, that's the reason, man. Because uh, this is some bullshit, man. It really is. Bro, I, I, I literally could... Sh I, I'm gonna show I'll probably show you guys a clip, bro. Of me trying to play, like, any fucking game. And that shit just... It's so dog shit, bro. Like, it's so bad. Like, fuck my internet, bro. I don't give a fuck. I, I, don't, I don't care. It's so dog shit, bro. But yeah, we're finna be right into my boy Tommy G, bro. Bro, I love Tommy G, bro. He's actually cool as fuck, bro. I love watching his videos. Um, And yeah, he just dropped this two hours ago. So, yeah. Let's check, it, check this shit out, bro. Yo, folks, I'm Tommy G. This is an underground fight club in the Bronx. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh my God, where the fuck is yo, yo? Where is this even at? Oh my God, shit! I already like this already. All right, Gula. Oh my God. Chat, should I, chat, real quick, should I, should I pull up to the Bronx with Tommy G and fight? I ain't gonna I'd do it. I'll probably get smoked, though. something unbelievably captivating about watching a fight. I can still remember vividly when two kids in high school fought because one told the other that his haircut made him look like Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah. Talk of the school for many weeks. Humans love fighting. There's a reason why a book like Fight Club has a cult following and why MMA is one of the most popular sports in the world. Back in the day, a good old scrap would solve a problem when words failed to work. You'd trade a couple shots, get a bloody lip, and you'd shake hands and squash the beat. But nowadays, that seems to have gone away. <clears throat> Many popular rappers have proudly said Boo. they fight no more. Boo. I don't think that's something to be proud of. This that's fucking, yeah, thank you, man. That's lame as fuck. Petty things where a simple knuckle sandwich would have been enough. There's yeah, been talk to him, Tommy. Yo, yeah. He's a New York resident. Exactly. Chat. He just he's spitting, bro. I ain't gonna lie. There is no honor in that, bro. And shooting, jumping, and like sneaking somebody. There's no honor in that. If you guys do that shit, you're a bitch. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I don't care. Oh my god. A truck trailer? What the fuck? Yo, New York? Uh, of course, the Bronx. Hey, hey. Bro, this dude goes everywhere. Holy shit, he actually really does. Tommy G is a fucking goat, man. Fight Club. Fight Club. Which sounds crazy, and it is. These guys are wild. They fight in laundromats, 18 wheeler trucks. Okay, Yo. 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 Yeah. Hey, shout out Street Beefs, too, guys. Shout out Street Beefs. New York is famous for its gun violence. It's a big issue in the city right now. Chat. Chat. I ain't gonna lie. One, one of these. Bro, why, bro? Soon, bro. I'm finna start doing shit like this, bro. I'm finna be traveling and all this, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna go to Street Beats, bro. I wanna check that bitch out. I actually... Isn't that bitch in Texas? Isn't that bitch in Texas? Yo, someone let me know where that shit's at. I think it's Texas, bro. Whoa! And this is a way to exercise that dog. Walk that dog without the dog biting somebody. We're meeting with her contact, Killer Mike, driving to Hunts Point. Chat, wait, why are you My fault, my fault, chat. I keep pausing. Yo, y'all saw that, that uh, Lil Mabu owes uh, Tommy G money? Yeah, bro, Tommy G will smoke. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> I'm trying to see that white and white violence. I ain't gonna lie. 
Wait, I, I'm not gonna get copyrighted for this, right? Uh, I don't go. I don't go. Fuck. I don't. I don't, I don't go. Basketball club of the Trinitario you just were at, right? Oh yeah. We're in Trinitario territory right now. Shout out our dogs. They gave us great hospitality. We had a really good time with them. And here it is. This is the, the truck. People are gonna be fighting in this truck, folks. How you doing, brother? I'm at work and trying to get the shit done. Killer Mike is a Bronx resident, passionate about giving people a safe outlet to channel their aggression. He <coughs> believes his organization provides people a healthy alternative to gun violence. Hell yeah. And running this fight club. Damn, he's dope, bro. Had people throw down at places like bodegas, laundromats, and warehouses. Why do they call you Killer Mike? I had a killer right hook back yeah. in the day growing up, and I was always the one to protect my boys, protect the scenes, protect the ones that shouldn't be picked on, mm -hmm. and I just had that one hit of quitter. And then they also called me Killer because, you know, they with the, you know, the baddies. I don't know if I curse my head, but the baddies. I'm Tommy. How you doing, man? <laughs> nice one, Tommy. The baddies? Shit, you stay with the baddies? Like shit, he, they, they got some baddies in there in the beginning. I ain't gonna lie. Make my style different from everybody's thing. Are there other fight clubs in New York right now? Yeah. Copycats. We called it was one at the B-Rum, one at the Bronx, but they're not. What are some other venues or locations you've done fights in before? We've done warehouses, we've done laundry mats, we've done grocery stores. Wow. Bodega. That's uh, insane. We've done AT Willow before, we've done it inside of a strip club. Uh, wow. Out. How many people do you think we can fit in here? That's fucking dope, people. bro. Hey, shut up this dude. Uh, What, what was his name? Killer? Kill uh, no disrespect, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Don't, don't beat me up, please, bro. I ain't gonna lie. No disrespect. I think Killer Mike. I think that was his name, right? Killing each other, shooting each other. And it's really the youth that's killing each other. Like the 15, the 16 year olds. When I was 15, 16 year old, my brother was 15, 16. We didn't really shoot each other. We used our knuckles. We got it on. And if you beat me while I beat you, you so happy to be my boy after that. And now seeing where this generation is leaning to, where everybody wants to walk around with like these little pocket purse books and keep their little tutu yes. inside. And off a bullet wrong, you can get shot off both each other, you know. Let's look at New York gun violence. After California, New York. Oh my was the God. In 2021, the governor issued an executive order declaring a state of emergency due to gun violence. This created a council on gun violence and treats gun violence not only as a criminal issue, but as a public health issue as well. In the last two years, the NYPD has confiscated over 14,000 guns, and from 2020 to 2023, shootings decreased by 25%, a reduction of 400 fewer people being shot. Many times, New York City is portrayed as a lawless shithole, but to be fair, when you look at the trends over the last 30 years, crime is down over 76% since 1990. Another statistical trend to consider is that since the pandemic, overall gun deaths in the United States are up 43%, with two-thirds of these due to homicides and one-third due to suicide. Now, there's a common belief going around that the places with the strictest gun laws have the most gun violence. Let's look at what some of the numbers have to say. A study out of Drexel University says that New York has the lowest gun violence rates among U.S. major cities. Furthermore, a study... Wait, who... Wait, 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 go back. Who has the most? New York uh, Memphis? Damn, Memphis, Detroit, Baltimore, Cleveland, Ohio, Kansas, Louisiana... Chicago, yeah, of course. Wait, Vegas? What the fuck, chat? That's where I am. Well, that's like the middle. Yo, Vegas is like in the middle of gun violence. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, nah, I was gonna say something. There we The highest gun law violence rates, Mississippi, Alabama, Missouri, have some of the laxest gun laws. Now you can find stats to back up whatever argument you have, and the counter argument to strict gun laws is that the criminals won't obey the gun laws in the first place, so strict gun laws will only hurt the citizen that wants to protect themselves and embolden the criminal with the gun. Facts. Hmm. I'm trying to bring it I agree with that actually. You know, where you get your respect by fighting the one on one. So I also treat this game like a Harlem basketball game, though. You know, they make fun of you. Mm -hmm. So when we fight, we make fun of them. You know, we mm -hmm. joke on them. And it's all to bring in that, like, this shit is gangster, it's negative, it's raw, but it also has a positive outcome. Damn, he kissed his girl, too. She. In that basketball court with the Trinitarios yesterday. Yeah. So there are people roaming through this territory. No, yeah, it's no joke here. There's no joke here, that's for sure. Uh, even through like the gangs of New York. Oh, you know, shit, the bro. The Trinitarios, like, they all heard of us and they all respect what we stand for. Everyone respects this method and how gangsta and rogue keep it. That's dope. I, dude, that's, that's fucking dope, bro. That's actually beautiful. Seven powerful new effects. I'm not even gonna lie. That's actually beautiful as fuck, bro. Oh. Let's see, man. I'm trying to see some fights, though. What y'all think of this video, though, so far, chat? This video is fire, bro. 10 out of 10. I'm really into it. We always get a neighborhood sponsor to sponsor our shows to help us out with the budget. Community's here for us, and that's what we love about it. So this was one more than the 18 with us, you know? I'm guessing from the layout. Of wow. The it's not like it's going to the ground. There's no choke. No, nah, yeah. It's just boxing. You had a reason for the Whoa. Corners, you talk about that. Most of my brothers is 
locked up right now. <clears throat> they're doing time. They're doing 10 to 15, and some of them is not coming out. With that being said, you know, there's no room in jail to fight. And a lot of people out here in the streets, they quick to grab their gun and shoot, not realizing that when they do get locked up for that shit, they're gonna have to end up fighting again. Yeah. And there ain't gonna be no space to fight. There's barely one-on-ones in there. But here we're gonna do one-on-ones, and we're gonna treat this like the, the jail bathroom. Where have you had a fight in jail? Whoa. No, I, I've never had a fight in jail. Okay. I came close. Isaiah, what brought you into the fight club world? He did. My best friend. He told me, let's try to make a change in the street. And what have you seen as the impact of doing this? We done changed families. We even made the news for saving two brothers. Oh. Yeah, they was trying to kill each other in the street. Real brothers. Their mother hit us up. Made them fight at the show. Angry teenage sons to the underground fight club in 2018. Which oh, shit. And leave it all in the ring. Rumbling their clothes. Did just that, squash their beef, and save them from a lot of black up, six feet under. Through stories like these, they hope it inspires what? others to switch from guns to gloves. What happened after they fought? They ride, hugged it out, mother and they fine. the friends down. People in the old yeah. crying. You know, it was that right there, it was like touching. Yeah, the yeah bro. That's dope, like, bro. We used to go on the streets and, you know, someone died, got shot. We'll have signs up saying, stop killing us, stop doing all this. And I started to realize that, you know, this is pointless. Killers are not paying attention to this. The street dudes not paying attention to it. What's paying attention is these non-profit organizations, the politicians, and everybody else that want to be like, yo, come over here, let me show you how to open up a non-profit so that we can get some money. And everything's about money, 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 but like, are we really saving kids this way? Mm. This right here is actually how we save them. I only did one cage fight in my day, but I remember afterwards, me and him were both sitting next to the paramedic there taking our pulse, making sure we were good to go. But it was like we knew each other our whole life, even though 10 minutes ago we were trying to punch mm -hmm. each other, choke each other. Afterwards, it's like, oh man, like, you hug them. It's something weird that Fighting someone brings you closer yes, to somebody. It does. Yes. You have a rep, you have a ring girl, you're gonna throw some money at her, you know, have a good time. <laughs> Damn. You're gonna shake a nice ass. Back I'm gonna keep my eyes as high as I can, sweet yeah, cheeks, we... but I don't know. We'll see what happens. No, that's one thing I don't wanna have is Tommy G versus the wife. Yeah. Right? She's wonderful, she's beautiful. Yeah. Fellas, stay true to your wife. Shout out sweet cheeks. Oh, oh yeah. Preach, brother, preach! Preach, brother. I'm like Max Holloway, brother. Brother. Brother, brother. Um, nah, never mind. I was gonna say, it. Yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> yo, yo. If 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 you know who watches this, don't get mad, uh, cause I'm watching uh, the girls and stuff. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. She knows who she is, bro. I know a lot of guys around here are carrying shanks. We learned that yesterday. Yeah, yeah, no, everybody carries shanks and guns here. That's what they do. Nobody want to fight with you. No more. Do you feel like the street is a code a little bit? That just, people are willing to do that? Just a little bit. You know, one thing New York don't like to f with is rats. We don't f with rats. If you're a snitch, you're a b The hip hop game is now glorifying 6 9 gutter. It's changing the game. This generation is just like losing themselves. As long as the music sounds good, they don't care it's, anymore. And that's crazy. Back in the day, you would the lose day. your whole reputation. I've never seen 6 9 go to this New York City. He can't come to Hunt's Point. I would love to see that. Like, I would really love to see that. <laughs> Let me ask you about the whole rat thing. If someone takes out your baby mama and you know who did it, are you a rat if you tell the police? No, I'm taking him out. But oh, are, are you, you a rat, rat if you tell yeah. the police? You are a rat. The point is for you to handle your own situation. You killed my son? You think I want you to rot in jail? No, I want you to die, motherfucker. I saw there was one clip, I don't know if it was a mom or a dad, but they pretended to be on the phone and a telephone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when the suspect I seen this. Son, yeah, boom. I seen that, yeah. Yo, chat. Wow, bro. I seen that clip too. That clip is fucking insane, bro. Did did how 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 much time did the dad do for that, bro? Makes you say that. Kids, shoot with kids now. I've been in New York City over thirty years. I haven't seen as much violence with kids since I've been here. Every day's about smoking on this, smoking on this, smoking on this. Bro, like kids don't go to school no more. Ever since COVID happened, kids get to stay home. That made it even worse. Let's talk about how the COVID era has affected education in the last couple of years. Let's talk about how COVID impacted learning around the country. The closure of schools and the switch to remote learning caused a major setback to education. Most teachers I've spoken with say that their kids are now two or three years behind and that COVID was a dark ages for learning. Research from America. Man, fuck school. I don't give a right, right, I'm gonna skip this. I don't give a fuck about school. I ain't gonna lie. Since school has come back in session, there have been higher rates of violence and mis- Man, school, bro, nah, y'all don't even want my take on school, bro, fuck school, 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 school,
Nah, fuck school, bro. School is literally just, bro, programmed to make more fucking slaves, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I've been in New York City over 30 years. I haven't seen as much violence in kids since I've been here. Every day is about smoke. I feel like, bro, I feel like it's not the lack of, like, them having education, bro. It's literally like, bro, all these kids, they're new, bro. They're fucking growing up in hoods, bro, and they're all around this shit. Obviously, they're gonna participate or be involved in it in some way, you feel me? Even if you don't want to be, it's hard not to, bro, when you grow up in shit like that. You feel me? COVID was a dark ages for learning. Research from American Think Tank Brookings concludes that COVID widened learning gap between rich and poor students. In fact, reading and math scores dropped so significantly that it can be said that the learning gap COVID produced was even greater than the gap experienced by kids who had to evacuate New Orleans because of Hurricane Katrina. Since school has come back in session, there have been higher That's so sad. And misbehavior. And with crash out rappers like Baby Key emerging from this generation, this is why people are saying kids are on demon time. <laughs> That's your first fight. So, what made your side? Chat. Y'all, y'all wouldn't mind if I eat chips, right? You know, I've done amateur fights. I've okay. always been around the area, but just thought like it, man. Just thought about it. Was real interested in it. Just couldn't find one. Now I found it. Now I'm ready. How'd you find out about this fight? Just run on Google. Yeah. Uh, simple as that. Yeah. What are the goals of this event? Guns down, gloves up. What do you think about gun violence in New York right now? It's awful, man. You gotta put down the weapons, man. Put up the hands. That's where real men are at. The shame Facts. Is people dying out here. I want to see passion and honor again, man. It's easy to be Facts. bad, but it's real hard to be good. You gotta be Facts. bad if you want to be a good guy. People say demon time, you know what I mean? But angels are stronger than demons. That's what you gotta remember. It's always better to be good. How long have you been fighting? Damn! You preach, my boy! You are showing up ready to go. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, man. Have you ever been in a street fight before? I'm not gonna say yeah, because I just gotta jump in those fights. <laughs> but yeah. What do you think? Not about fair, that? boo. More, more people are, are comfortable with jumping other people. What do you think about that? Lame. You can yeah. fight one on one. There's no point of you calling yourself a gangster or something. Like How many people jumped here? Four. Multiple times. No, it's not even. Well, it's different. Man, like, I don't even know about being gangster, bro. It's just. It's just the right thing to do, bro. It's the respect, bro. The honor. Oh, does your mother know you're here? <laughs> yeah, she does. I don't want to bring her because <laughs> I don't want her to see me fighting. Is there any message you have to the people? Don't be scared to do nothing. That's it. How'd you find out about this fight club? Through Instagram. The past two of them in the Bronx that I pulled up to, I feel like I'm from phone. Especially the last one. The room went down in the first and got put to sleep in the second. So you're actually trained boxing? Yeah. I interviewed at least one guy so far who never is trained, just hopping off the couch to do that. I feel like that's a bad idea. Totally bad idea. Does your mom know you're here? Yes. Yeah. What does she think about it? She's not really proud of me fighting in the first place, but she support my actions, you know what I'm saying? What are you excited about for tonight? My guy's got a lot of heart, you know, he's got a lot of, you know, he's very good at what he does. And he likes to hurt people. <laughs> I'm not too worried. Yeah. It is like an idea. Wait, chat. <laughs> Yo. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, what the fuck, man? I get about Tommy. Tommy G. I, I know you, I know I'm paying you, my boy, but like. Wait, so that guy is fighting the other guy that has no experience? Yeah, he's cooked. show you the real raw shit. I don't know if it gets more raw than this. We're gonna get a bite to eat, then get into the action. I'm excited to be here. Excited to be alive. Excited that this is my job. Thank you guys for tuning in, because without you, I'll be back at my sales job, staring at my cubicle, wanting to do things W. Can't on YouTube, so. W. W, w, man. W, Tommy fucking G, bro. W, man. Hey, but real shit, Tommy. Yeah, your 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 friends, uh, your your friends. What the fuck am I saying? Your your fans helped you out, bro. But it's it's the, it's all that work you put in, bro. Like your videos are actually hard, bro. Like like genuinely. Yo, no glaze shit. I'm not glazing either. I swear, bro. Like, bro. He puts in so much work in his shit, bro. Folks, we all know how sports can change a kid's life. I'm investing in Milwaukee Youth Wrestling. We had a private fundraiser event at the Oriental Theater. We raised over 40 grand. We're continuing it, though, because we got a higher... This shit is so dope, bro. What this dude does is so inspiring, bro. I'm not even fucking gonna lie, bro. This shit is fucking dope. money in Milwaukee backing me. And just YouTubers and people backing this movement. Consider donating to the link. That all goes to Milwaukee Youth Wrestling. I appreciate your support. Excited for what we can do for Milwaukee. Wrestling is a sport that changed my life. I just want to give it back. To the kid. Oh, is these dudes fighting? Hey! Hey! Yo, the, <laughs> yo, Grabs is throwing money! Yeah. 
of these? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Best in the world, man. How many of these events have you done so far? This is probably going to be like my fifth event. And what's it like? It's very good. What do you love about it? The money, of course. I'm here with the rubber. Oh, of course, chap. But she's just this. Yo, this bitch is like shake your ass. The fuck? Thank you guys so much for coming out to support me last minute. No promo, no fly. We still made this shit happen. This is Bumble in a motherfucking 18 wheel truck. You heard? This is a special welcome to my brother behind me, Tommy G. If yeah. You know him, I need to know who the f this man is. He's making a fucking difference. You heard? Hell yeah, bro. Tommy G's. Tommy G's goat, man. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Come on. I try to see someone get knocked out. crazy and support the fighters because it's guns down loves up right let's get ready to rumble let's go all right let's see let's see oh 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 my god yeah old man is getting yo oh my wait oh my Oh my god! Oh, that was a good dodge. I'd be gassed out already, chat. I ain't gonna lie. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's your own. All right, yo, I'm sorry. Yeah, all right, my fault. <laughs> yo, 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 all right, my fault. Yo, I bet this shit. I bet this bitch stinks though in there. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Chill, chill. That was a joke. That jacket is clean though. Both of their jackets are it's fire. I like his pants too, bro. His pants are hard. What, it, what what kind of pants are those? Damn, this dude going again? Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, is this so, is this so someone not gets knocked out? There's no, uh, it's, it's not like, well, I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Fire. Shout out Turbos. Sponsor me, please. That ass. That'd be dope, though. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, oh, chat. I'm finna just start doing some reaction videos. Meanwhile, I'll get my internet up. These dudes are gas. Two. One. Fantastic, but it's got to go to the man in the dreads, I think. Let's go. Okay. okay. Hey, congratulations. That was a hell of a fight. Tell me, mm -hmm. what's going through your head right now? The fight is finished. Shit, this was a good fight. I ain't gon
Head down, swing it. Apparently, you're talking to the other. Way more bueno, way more fuerte. Que es el tumbante ahora. Oh, don't need to speak Spanish. Mm-hmm. Because you and him do some shit, bro. Like, you know what? F*** it. Respect, man. That's dope. Respect, bro. That's dope. That's honor right there. Alright, come on. I gotta see something not that though. Alright, fight number three, guys. Come on. <laughs> Gangsta. Whoa! Got that boy on skis. Let's talk about what getting punched in the face does. Oh shit. When someone gets hit, their skull moves rapidly in one direction. Their brain, which is naturally suspended in fluid, accelerates slower than the rest of the head. When it finally catches up, their brain smacks against the skull and this can result in a concussion. Also, when you get hit, it can throw the inner ear and vestibular system out of whack. This part of your body is responsible for balance, so hence why a fighter can stumble around after a big punch. Oh. Wow, interesting. I did not know that. Oh, this dude won, bro. The one in the red gloves won. Yeah, yeah. Good referee can make sure a fighter has a long career, and a bad referee is a recipe for dementia. Fight fans get furious at bad referees. For example, former UFC ref Mario Yamasaki. He even has memes about him, like "If he dies, he dies," and "No lives matter." One of his most yo. Unconscious fighter Travis Brown to defend himself. Mario's refing was so bad that Dana White said, "I think it's disgusting. I think he's disgusting, and I never want to see him refing ever again." In my opinion, wow. But it's always easier to make a judgment sitting on the features, and I do respect how much pressure comes along with being a ref. There's a fine line between calling it too early and calling it too late. In both <laughs> Leon Edwards. Oh yeah, Shriklin. Alex Pereira. I love the fuck. I love UFC, bro. Yo, chat. My fault. I keep pausing. Yo, chat. I'm excited for uh, UFC 302 and uh, 303, bro. Fucking uh, Islam versus Dustin Poirier. Uh, McGregor versus Chandler. Oh my God, fuck, dude, that oh, that card is stacked, bro. That shit got me. This shit, this shit got me nothing, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, 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 oh,
nose. You're supposed to breathe through your nose. A good athlete breathes through their nose. That's how you know they're out of shape. They start breathing through their mouth. So right now, he only has mouth breathing. Good. Wait, what did he say? Wait, 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 what? Wait, what did he say? What did he say? Hold on, hold on. What did he say? What did, he, what did Tom? What, what did my boy Tommy say? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, chat, you see how slow? Yo, chat, you see how slow my internet is? Even just to play a fucking YouTube video, this shit's. Oh, I'm go. I'm about to, bro, I'm about to crash out, bro. This shit pissing me off. Bro, everybody, everybody in the comments, man, L internet. Fuck, fuck, fuck you, Cox. Yo, fuck, fuck, Cox, bro. Cox to start my fucking dick. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I honestly don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You're supposed to breathe through your nose. A good athlete breathes through their nose. Through the mouth. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Yep, true. Facts, facts, facts. He knows what he's talking about. Damn. Not the girl, not the girl, chat, chill, chill, the, 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 the way he was singing right there. I'm not getting, like, no, <laughs> I just don't want my girl to get mad. <laughs> uh, fuck, there we go. Yo, the New Jersey dude won. Oh! Damn. Yeah, he's done. Dude, this dude is leaking. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, my brother ready my brother 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 my brother my brother he hits hard brother oh shout out max holloway bro shout out my boy max holloway i fucking love max bro don't i i'll be i'll be tuning into his stream sometimes too bro w, w max holloway bro i fucking love max holloway like a brick shit house. I would have been scared to fight you. That guy has enough to show up and do it. The warrior. He's a warrior. 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 Yep. Yeah, any reflections from the night? Free fight. Had fun, man. Yeah, so keep it simple and sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why Dope. is this important for you? To Why is it important? Yeah. It's just what I like to do. It's just what I like. Okay. Any advice for the youth? Dope. 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 Have fun. So this is your first time in the Bronx, right? Oh yeah. You came all the way from New Jersey and you came to the absolute trenches to fight in a truck. In a truck. Um, I have a lot of respect <laughs> for that. Man, yeah, man. Night, Fucking dope, bro. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, thank you. you too, bro. You guys just saw your friend, Damn, that's dope, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was trying to give him the advice. Like he said, the other guy was big. I was trying to tell him, you know, push him up with the jab. And when he comes and step out, the yeah, yeah. Kept dropping levels, you know. But then again, it was his first fight. I mean, that guy looked physically intimidated, right? I mean, he was a big, man, strong dude. Yeah. It ain't enough for technique over everything. So why was it Facts. to show up to this fight today? Not just because you're a friend, but like, tell me what's the importance of fighting mean to you. That's my heart, that's my amazing, you know what I'm saying? And we believe in, you know, put the guns down, the gloves up, and that's just how it is, you know what I'm saying? We just put, we just show them what it is, you know what I'm saying? We're into, you know, fighting in general. It is a good, nice physical sport. And yeah. I feel like it teaches discipline. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Okay. Chat. Anything you learned or anything you reflect on right now? Hey, every, chat, everybody in this video is dope as fuck, bro. All right, go live. Everybody's cool as fuck. Um, what was I going to say? Fuck, I was going to say something. I forgot. I learned, I gotta get protection from my balls, bro. Cause oh, I yeah, he got shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Boys is not a, a good way to be in a fight. Well, right? I never trained. It's my first fight. You feel me? Do you not train before the fight? Uh, no, that's no, risky, yo. No, the muscle you heard, so hey, congratulations tonight. Thank you so Thank much. You, Appreciate you. I'm gonna get y'all on real quick. If y'all know who the f booty is, can I get a yeah? yeah. Chad, these fights, like, it's nothing too too crazy, but like. It's just still dope to see. Underground legend? Whoa, hold up. Hey, this dude. This dude already got fucking gear for his nuts. Y'all seen that? Like, what the fuck? You hurt? <laughs> I like how New York people talk. This is dope. Ooh, that hook was nasty. Oh, 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 hold up. Oh. 
What the fuck? God! God damn! You always send that back. You always send that boy back to the fuck. Damn! Damn! He needs some milk. <laughs> He's bro. He, bro, he could keep going. Nah, he could keep going. He could keep going. Yeah, he could keep going, bro. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh! Damn, this is getting fucking punished right now. God. God, God. Fuck back! Fuck back! <laughs> yo! 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 Call it, call it. It's done. It's done. Now it's done. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Yo, Wabu Channel. Yo, I don't, bro. Hey, Wabu Channel. I ain't gonna lie. We gotta, we gotta pop out to one of these, bro. Or, 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 or the one, or Street Beats, bro, in Texas. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, chat. Tell Wawa Channel we gotta go, bro. Tell him, bro. Tell him. Tell him. Chulo. Oh, damn. Damn. RP man, RP in the chest, guys. That's dope, bro. Damn, that's dope, bro. Respect, man. Bro, I hate this fucking ad. This shit is so cringe, bro. Shut the fuck up. It's always been my anthem and my way out of everything, any situation, or argument, anything. I can't stop fighting, bro. What would be your message Duh, bro. to the kids out there that are looking for things to do? Or maybe right. you've been fighting a lot. You, you just came off three knockouts before this fight, right on the street. Why is it important for you to fight? Why do you come here and do this? Well, one, for the experience, too, because it's like, I'm 19, and these people who's my age right now are doing Dude, he's 19? What the fuck? Wow, that's insane. I'm gonna be honest, and then I just couldn't breathe. Like you could tell, I was. Hey, yeah. After the first few yeah, you did good, my boy. You did good, bro. You 19, bro. No, you feel me? Yeah, bro. You young as fuck, bro. Come on. You got time, brother. You got time, my brother. You got time, bro. 
stop it because if he wasn't, I'd have kept going. I mean, probably would have ended up different than the way it went. I think, sorry, especially young men, they want to keep going sometimes in the yeah. fight. It's, there's a good time to call yeah. it. Yeah. Call it a day and fight again another time. Yeah, yeah. facts, man. Had a successful night, mm -hmm. some really good fights. What's going through your head right now, man? I'm just happy that we didn't get shut down. <laughs> <laughs> at a corner of a very hot spot. Very hot. Yeah. How does this work with police? Was it a chance that police were gonna bust? It's a hit and miss. Mm -hmm. You know, we risk it all to save a life. You feel me? Like we spoke with the police. You know, they told us like they're behind us as well. They watch our show. They support us. That's, cool. That's, cool. you know, That's dumb, bro. Day, there is rules that we gotta follow, and it should be permits, and it should be you know the whole you know being sanctioned. Sanctioned, yeah. Boxing committee at yeah. New York. But at the end of the, the day, day. I feel like. I can't get that. I know because of the crowd we bring, the the, the the attitude we bring to fight night, you know. And I just feel like, you know, at the end of the day, what's most important is all the lives that's been losing out here, you know. You're a man. Yeah, man. And I think that's the call for all of our lives is to find what our mission is and to chase it to the fullest that we can. And you're doing it in your own way. I applaud it. I love it. Does anyone have any thoughts they want to add? Nah, man. I just appreciate you coming through, man. It's all I love you. Right? I do, I do, Hell I yeah. I want to add something. I do want to thank you for coming out and, you know, blessing the Bronx and New York with, you know, with your following and everything you work so f***ing hard for. And I want to give you your flowers now while you're alive because you deserve it. I've been watching you for a long time. Appreciate you. They don't put the G at the end of Tommy for nothing. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you're respected everywhere you f***ing go. That's dumb, man. Your heart and your sleeve like I do. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate you like that. You heard? Guys, Hell yeah. channel does not survive without people like this reaching out. And this is always an honor. It's like I have the greatest job in the world because guys like you hit me up. And sure. it's fucking fantastic. So for sure, uh, the for love sure. is much back to you, thank too. You, thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate and, you. Uh, thank love. you for putting my platform with yours, man. Hey. And oh, shout oh, out to oh, Rumble in the fucking box, you yeah? heard? Yo, I do I do really gonna say that, bro. Yo, that's fucking dope, bro. Shout out Tommy G, bro. Shout out my boy, uh, shit, what was his name? I think his name was Kill Killer Mike, bro. No disrespect, but shout out, uh, shout out that whole uh, movement that they got going on, bro. And, uh, one more time, bro. Shout out to Tommy G. Make sure you guys check him out in the description, bro. I will leave his video in the description. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.